Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel with a new Lightroom Classic tutorial on how to export your photos for printer web. Please note that this tutorial uses Lightroom Classic Desktop, so if you're using the Lightroom Cloud-based version, your workspace will look quite different. So you may have noticed that in Lightroom there isn't the usual Save button, which can be confusing at first. Instead, you export your photos, which creates new files such as JPEGs, with all of your adjustments baked in and your original image files remain untouched. So the exported JPEG files are the ones that you would use for printing. The first step is to select your image, either from the library module or the develop module. Since I'm already in the library module, I'll do it from here. So simply highlight the photo that you want to export, either in grid view or from the film strip down here. Or if you want to export multiple fo photos, hold down the shift key, select the first image, and select the last image to highlight all of them. And from here, you can either right click on the images and scroll down to export here, or you could go up to the upper left menu and click on file and click on export here, or you could use the shortcut control shift E, or if you're in the library, and this just applies to the library and not the develop module, you can click on export down here on the lower left. So when I click on export, this dialog box will open up and it says it will export three files. Now Lightroom does give you several presets, but I don't think they're the greatest. In fact, you don't even see one that says um, for print. So I'm going to go ahead and just ignore that and I'm going to work with this so you can see all of the important settings. Now up at the top you'll see export to hard drive is usually the default and you can scroll down and you may see email, um, you can also burn to CD or DVD. These others are just because I happen to have some other software. You may not see the same thing. So I'm going to export to hard drive. And then here we have to choose an export location. You have a number of options. You can export to a specific folder, the same folder as the original image, choose a folder later, the desktop, and several other options. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as export to desktop. You have the option of putting your images in a subfolder, so I'm going to go ahead and check that box, and let's just call this, um, let's just call it Sunset. I'm going to leave Add to Catalog unchecked, because I, in my opinion, it just creates confusion to add exported uh, images to your catalog, and there's really no need to. And this is for existing files. Say you need to re-export something, you can ask what to do with a new file. Um, choose a new name, overwrite it, or skip. So I'm just going to leave as ask what to do as the default. Next is file naming. And I do like to give my images custom names when I'm exporting for print. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this checked. And you have some options for ver different variations of custom names. Um, original file number, sequence, um, you know, uh, etc. So I'm going to just leave it as custom name. I'm going to do custom name and sequence so I can number them. Then I'm going to give my images a custom text. So let's just call them, let's just call them sunset. And it will start numbering them. And of course, you can start this number anywhere you want, but I'm going to leave it at the default. And then next, we're going to skip over video because we're only dealing with print right now. We have file settings. The default image format is JPEG, and that is what you will want to leave it at for print. You do have some other options here. This is Photoshop PSD file. TIFF is another type of print file. PNG is for the web in some instances. DNG is a digital negative. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as JPEG. We're going to leave the color space the default, which is sRGB. You have some other options here, but 99% of the time you're going to want sRGB. Quality, this is for print, so I'm going to leave quality at 100%, and I'm going to make sure this box is not checked because we don't want to limit the file size. If we limited the file size, we're going to suffer on the quality, or the actual image size when it's printed, it will be really tiny. 
So we'll skip down to image sizing. I'm going to leave the resize unchecked because we want full size, original, um, the original image size. And so we're going to just ignore these. Resolution I want to keep at 300 pixels per inch. This is the standard for printing. Sharpening. This is an addition to any sharpening that you've already done in the develop module. We can add a little, this is, this is sharpening that's done um, on the export. I'm going to check this box and we can sharpen for either glossy paper or matte paper. I'm going to leave it at glossy paper and you can also select the amount and I would use either low or standard. I would never use high or it's just going to, I think that's just way over, going to way overdo it. So let's leave it with low. Next is metadata. Uh, I'm going to just leave it at copyright only. It will also remove personal info and location info. Watermarking, we want to print our image. So I'm going to leave the watermark box unchecked. And then after exporting, I'm going to leave it as do nothing. Then all you need to do is hit export and your images will be exported to the file location that you had designated up here. So now let's look at what if you wanted to export for, say, Facebook or for email. So let's leave the same settings up here in the export location and the file name, and let's go to File Settings. We're again going to leave the image format as JPEG, and the color space is sRGB. Now quality, if you're going to print uh, or export for email, you could probably go to 70 to 80%, or if you're going to export for um, a website, your own website, 70 to 80% is fine. If you're going to export for Facebook, you may want to leave it at a 100% because Facebook compresses images and it will tend to look better if you start out with the highest quality before you upload it to Facebook. And again, I'm not going to limit the file size. If you needed to, say you had some specification where your images had to be a certain size, no more than say 500 kilobytes, then you could check this box and then you would just enter in whatever you needed to here. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then we'll go to image sizing. Now for Facebook, we will want to resize to fit the long edge I'm going to change this to pixels, and I'm going to put in 2048. And I'm going to change the resolution to 72. Now, if whenever you're exporting for the web, you always want to use a resolution of 72, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, email, uh, a website, etc. And these dimensions you can change as you need to, as you see fit. Then next is output sharpening, and in this instance, I'm going to change the glossy paper. I'm going to change that to sharpening for screen, and the amount, I'm going to change it to standard. And I'll leave the copyright uh, or the metadata as copyright only. And for watermarking, you may want to mark, watermark your images. If you do, you can check this box, and you can choose the default simple copyright or if you have created your own, I do have a tutorial where I created my own copyright. I can show you how to do that. You can select your own here. And then again, for post-processing, I'm going to leave it as do nothing. Now, if you don't want to have to go through all of these settings every time you export something, I have good news for you. You can just simply create an, a preset. Over here on the left, where it says Add, click on Add and you'll see new preset pops up. You can name your preset here, choose a folder. The default is user preset, so we'll just leave that as it is. And I'm just gonna click cancel. And let's click cancel again. And then let me show you, let's just pop up one of these images again. I'm gonna click right click here and go down to export. And then when you go over to this export menu, look down here and you'll see user presets. And you can see that I already have, for instance, a Facebook preset. So you would just click this and it will pop in with all of your preset 
settings and you can see it's exporting the file right here. I hope this quick tutorial helps you share your photos with the world and if you found it helpful I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get all of my Lightroom tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.